Hello students, my name is Sanket and today we are going to start with standard 11 max 1 chapter number 1 angle and its measurement. In the earlier standards you have learned what are the different types of angles differentiated on the basis of their measures. Angles having measure less than 90 are known as acute angle, equal to 90 is right angle, greater than 90 is obtuse angle. You know how to construct these various types of angles, you also know how to construct angle bisectors. Also the measures of angles are used to calculate various things like length of an arc is measured by using the measure of the central angle. The angle or the area of the sector is also required to use the central angles measure. So there are various things where angles are required. However, apart from distinguishing angles based on the measure, we can also distinguish angles on the basis of how they are constructed. This we will understand with the concept of what is known as directed angle. Now friends, what is directed angle? Directed angle means angle drawn from one position to other position. Now students, angle has two arms. Let us consider that we have an initial arm, say OA. So, let us consider OA to be the initial arm. Now, if I rotate this ray OA about the point O, let us rotate it in anticlockwise direction. So, I rotate the ray OA about the point O in anticlockwise direction up till it reaches the final position that is that is ray OB. So, I have got an angle AOB which is formed by rotating the initial arm OA above the point O till it reaches the final position that is ray OB. Here OA is known as the initial arm while the final position of the angle, the final position of ray OA is known as the terminal arm. So, OB will be the terminal arm. So, we have angle AOB drawn in anticlockwise direction where direction is important. Hence, angle AOB will be known as directed angle and this is labeled by or named by We see that we have drawn a small arc here which indicates it is a directed angle and not a normal angle. Now friends, you might be thinking that we have drawn here the angle in anticlockwise direction. What if we draw the angle in a clockwise direction? Let us consider we have drawn the same angle, let's say Now if in this case, I have drawn angle BOA such that OB is the initial arm and OA is the terminal arm which means I have moved ray OB in clockwise direction about the point O. Here ray OB will be the initial arm and ray OA will be the terminal arm. Now students remember that a directed angle drawn in an anticlockwise direction is said to have a measure of positive. So it will be known as positive directed angle. Similarly a directed angle drawn in clockwise direction will have a negative measure and hence it is known as negative directed angle. Now although in these two cases the value of the measure, the magnitude of the measure is same. However, the signs will be different. This will be a positive angle. This will be a negative angle. Therefore, we can say that the first one is denoted by directed angle AOB and the second one will be written as directed angle BOA. Note that these two angles are not equal. Correct? Although their measures, the magnitude of their measures is same, 
directed angle AOB is not equal to directed angle BOA. 